welcome to the Chucky Fan 101 show. What's up, Chucks, and welcome to the Chucky Fan 101 show, starring your host, Chucky Fan 101. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. So now, sadly, today we only have a few topics to talk about, because that, that participates as one of the reasons why I haven't made a video yet. Number one, there wasn't that many topics to talk about, so I had to improvise with my topics a little bit. And uh, two, school. Do I really need to rephrase why school is getting in the way? Luckily, I ended this quarter. Luckily, the quarter, my quarter for school is officially ended, and I have no homework, so I can do, make as many videos as I want. I should be able to hopefully get at least three videos out for you guys this weekend because, well... You know, I actually, I, I want to try and get a ton of videos out for you guys because I'm not going to be able to make videos throughout the week due to school and all that stuff. But I want to try and get as many videos out to you guys as I can. We are at 735 subscribers, I think. I think we're at 735 subscribers, meaning that we're only 70 subs away from being at 800. Isn't that exciting? Meaning that if we get at 800, we'll only be 200 subs away from 1,000. Wow, just looking at how much we've grown throughout all these months. I'm, I might have to make a video in the future. Uh, in the way future. I'm going to make a video of myself reacting to my older videos. Not now, because I literally just started making videos like a few months ago. So, but I definitely will have to. Remember the first ever Chucky video I made? It was me talking about... Uh, I can't remember... Like it, it, it literally, it, it was literally months ago when I made my first ever Chucky video on this account. Hmm. Let's see if I can try and think. It's either the okay, I can, I can try and remember. It's either the Spirit Halloween Chucky video. Yeah, it's either the Spirit Halloween talking animated Chucky doll video, or it might be Cult of Chucky news segment number one. But, yeah, I, I mean, if you guys want a future video of me talking about why I started this channel, maybe we could do that. Maybe we could do a Q&A. A, who knows? Maybe that Q&A might be live. Would you guys like that? Would you guys like a live YouTube q and I mean, most likely not that many people would show up, but I would still love to do it just for the sake of doing it because a lot of people now are asking me to go live. There's this one per kid who made a video, and he told, was telling me to go live, and... I would love to do that. Would you guys like me to go live? Hit the thumbs up if you would love me to, want me to go live. And comment down below if you would want me to go live and make like a a live q and I would love to do that, would you? Anyway, without me dragging on the intro far enough, it's time to get into the few topics that we have today. But first, it's time to get into the daily shoutouts. So let's get right into those, shall we? Now, if you're new to the channel then you do not know the rules for a shout out. Well, I'll tell you, if you comment down in the video, then I will give you a shout out. If I've already given you a shout out, then I won't give you another one. There. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I, in the past videos, I have really been making this explanation extremely long and complicated, but that's it. Put, uh, put down in the comment section below or message me on Instagram, do you want a shout out? And I'll give you one. If I already gave you a shout out, I cannot give you another one. Those are the rules. Simple as that. So let's now get into these shout outs. Like always, I have my piece of paper right here that I'm going to be reading off of. That also has today's topics written on it because I have horrible memory. So let's get to it, shall we? The first shout out is ChuckyFan101 on YouTube. Not myself, by the way. It's a different username, ChuckyFan101. By the way, if you're watching this video, comment down who had the name first. To be honest, I really don't even know. I mean, I think I might have been the second person on YouTube who has the name ChuckyFan101. I think, yeah, I think I might be the second person. So, first person, if you're watching this, um, yeah, if, if there's another person who had the name before I did, I'm sorry for stealing your name. But I, I honestly just came up with this name in my mind. I didn't even think anybody else on the internet had this same exact name. Second is Tony Biz Productions on Instagram. He's related to one of our topics today, and I'll get to that once we get to the topics portion of today's episode. Elicio Bazan on YouTube, who is also a part of today's topics. AD3M1R underscore on YouTube. The B Pricey Life on Instagram. 
art by underscore v on YouTube. Slasher villain, a uh, slasher villain fan, one zero zero one on YouTube. Tristan's dash Chucky da uh, underscore collection on Instagram. And Terror Media on Twitter and Instagram. Who also has something to do with today's topics. So, yeah, that's the, today's daily topic. So, without further ado, let's get right into these topics that we have for you guys today. Now, the first thing that we're going to be talking about today is Gabriel Bateman. If you don't know who that is, he is going to be starring in the new Child's Play reboot. And if you watch my previous videos, at first I was not on board with this idea at all. But as soon as we got the photo for what the doll is going to look like in the film, that actually kind of made me hop on board just a little bit. So I actually am sort of looking forward to this film ever since they released the teaser image of the doll. So, yeah, I mean, this movie might be good. It might not be good. Who knows? But yeah, Gabriel Bateman, he is going to be playing Andy in the film. And this first bit of, to uh, this, this first topic that I have to talk about you, uh, that the, the first topic that I have to talk about today is Gabriel Bateman. He posted a photo on Instagram. Of him sitting in like a director's chair in like a dressing room or something. And you may be wondering, what does this photo have to do with anything? Well, my theory is, I wouldn't count it as a theory, but I'm just going to, based off of assumption, I'm just going to assume that that must be the photo of him on set of the Child's Way remake. Now, I'm not sure at all, because recently he did post a, like a video, I think it was on his Instagram stories. Uh, so, sadly, I can't upload it now because he posted it like at least hours ago and it's probably expired by now. But, yeah, I mean, he posted like an Instagram story of him and I'm not sure if that was Aubrey Plaza, but I think it was Aubrey Plaza who's going to be playing Andy's mom in the film. And if that was her, then it's glad to see that they were getting along because he was playing like a little prank on her. So it's glad to see that they're getting along on set because that's the best way to build... Uh, bond on set of a movie in case you're playing like mother and daughter, uh, mother and son. So that's like the best part, the best way to build a relationship. But my, but my theory, or I'm just going based off of assumption, I'm just going to say that this photo is on set of the Child's Play remake. Now you can see a little bit of stuff in the background, like it looks like some computers or maybe some kind of wiring back there. I'm not sure if that's on the set of the Child's Play film, but most likely, unless he's working on another project at the moment. But I'm just going to say based off of the assumption that that's him on the set of the Child's Play film. So let's now get to the next topic. The next topic that we're going to be talking about today is Trick G Studios. Now, if you've been watching my videos for the past few months or if you're a new viewer, then I'll tell you. Trick G Studios is a Halloween-based company who has announced since, I think, like the summer of last year that they're going to be creating a good guy off on the movie Child's Play, pretty much accomplishing the dreams and goals of, like, every single Chucky fan out there. So that's, uh, that's the basic... Uh, uh, synopsis of what Trigger Tree Studios is, you know, they were and they also they put the doll up for pre order on their website sometime in May or April of this year for $500. So, and they won't start shipping the doll to people's houses until early, middle, or late December. That's all there is to it. Now, this little bit of news that I have for you guys today is involving their good guy doll box. Now, if you were lucky enough to, uh, you know, what if you were lucky enough to back for the doll on Kickstarter, then you would have been able to get the holographic sticker for reaching a specific goal amount for, you know, saving and getting money and stuff. Because they had to build up money to be able to fund this project, and they got more than what they needed to fund this project, luckily. So a part of that is you also be getting a Good Guy Doll holographic sticker. And I think it was posted on Garrett Zima's page where they're going to place that sticker prior to shipping. You know, when they ship it to your house, where they're going to place that sticker. And there's the picture. They're going to place it inside the Good Guy Doll box on, like, the ceiling or the little flap that you open up at the top. Some people were upset because they want to actually keep the sticker and hang it up on, like, their wall or something instead of having it in the box. And plus, it's on the inside of the box. 
so no one will be able to see it unless you display the inside of the box but who would really do that but some people are angry some people are happy that we're getting more news about the doll so that's all there is to it for that topic so let's now get to the second topic that we have to talk about today the third topic that we have to talk about today is one person who I give a shout out to named Elicio Bazan. Is that his name? Let me look at this paper again. Yup, Elicio Bazan is his name. And I already put his picture up at the beginning of the video. And I will put it up again right here just in case you want to see his YouTube channel. Well, he asked me for a shout out and I think my I think it was my recent video. He asked me for a shout out and he told me that he was also in the process of making a fan-made Chucky film and I think he might have posted a little bit of stuff about it on his YouTube page so I already put the picture up right there go show him some love go get and go subscribe to him and help support him in his journey of creating this Chucky film so that's I think like I think like the third Chucky film that we're also gonna be getting oh and a plus as a bonus to add on to that topic we are also going to be talking about the fact that Nightmare Crypt who is literally one of the inspirations you know he's literally one of the people who inspired me to start a Chucky channel Nightmare Crypt he is also in the process of making a Chucky film now he said back I think he, I think he said back in high school he made a script for a Chucky film that he never got the chance to finish and it just went to the back of his mind and he forgot but he all of a sudden found it and he you know is gonna get in the process of working on it and there's like a little screenshot Wait, am I even going to be getting a screenshot? I might have to message him. I might, yeah, I might have to message him to give me a screenshot of it just so I can put it in the next video. So never mind what I just said because I'm not going to be able to get a screenshot because that story is old. That story was from either yesterday or the day before yesterday. Meaning that it's probably not going to be on there because Instagram stories only last a span of at least 24 hours. So... Yeah, I mean, I might not be able to get a screenshot of it, but I will definitely message him and ask him for a picture that I can put in my next video so you guys can actually get him and his update on the uh, on the Chucky film that he's updating or the, the Chucky film that he's making. So let's now get into the next uh, topic that we're going to be talking about. Congratulations, Elicio Bazan and Nightmare Crypt on you guys' future Chucky films. The next topic that we're going to be talking about today is a person who I gave a shout out to in the, uh, you know, daily shout outs named the Ter Terror Media. He is also going to be producing or making another Chucky film. I mean, another Chucky game, I meant. You know, the first Chucky game that we're already getting is made by Fire Blitz Games. I've been talking about him in past videos. But sadly, it's not necessarily going to be a Chucky based game because he hasn't gotten the you know, word, or he hasn't gotten no permission from Universal Studios to use the Chucky name because he doesn't want to get into copyright problems and all that stuff. He doesn't want to get sued by them or nothing like that. So he tried to contact them and ask them for the rights to the Chucky name just so he can produce this game, but they never replied to him, so he had to change it up a little bit. So instead of it being called Chucky the Game, it's going to be called Charlie the Game. But the design of the character that you're playing as is pretty much Chucky, you know. The hair, the overalls, the shoes, the fact that you get to kill people, the fact that you're playing as a doll. That's pretty much the basics. But the only difference is the color scheme is different and the title of the game is different since, you know, copyright reasons. But, yeah, Terror Media on Instagram and Twitter is also going to be creating... A Chucky game is going to be called Chucky Friends Till the End. He's going to constantly be updating you on his Twitter page about it. So go follow him on Twitter. I'm going to put the screenshot right here. Just so you can go ahead and go follow him on Twitter. Because he's going to be posting constant updates on the game. And his constant journey to try and get, you know, word from Universal Studios. Because he's also in the process of trying to get permission from Universal Studios to use the Chucky name. Well, I'm not not trying to sound mean or nothing, but if Fire Blitz Games wasn't able to get the permission from Universal Studios, what are the odds that Terra Media is gonna get the permission from Chucky, or from the Universal Studios either? So Terra Media, I, we can't promise anything. Good luck on trying to get the permission from Universal Studios. We can't promise nothing in the future, but 
based off of assumption, you probably won't get it because if Fire Blitz didn't get it, then there's a high chance that you won't. But if you do get it, I guess I'm eating my own words. Congratulations if you do get it. But if you don't get it, then good luck on trying to make the game into something else like how Fire Blitz games did. So let's now get into the final topic of today. So the last topic that we have today is a person who I gave a shout out to in the daily shout outs named Tony Biz Productions on Instagram. Now you may know who he is because he has like over a thousand followers on Instagram so congratulations to that. But he is also in the process of filming a fan made Chucky film. He has been posting a lot of stuff about it. He's been posting teaser photos and that's pretty much it. He's been posting teaser photos and when it's going to come out. He said it's going to come out sometime next year and... It's going to be, obviously, a fan-made Chucky film. That's all I can pretty much say about it. But there was this photo that was leaked, and here it is. So that's the photo that was pretty much leaked. Now, I'm not going to give the name of the user who leaked the photo because, you know, it's going to remain an, an anonymous user just so you guys don't go and hit that person up and tell him that he's an idiot for leaking it or nothing like that. So whoever leaked it is going to remain anonymous. But he has been posting pictures about it he posted this production photo you know it says october 19th or just says 2019 so it's going to come out next year and uh yeah i mean that's all we can pretty much say about it it looks like it's going to be pretty much high production because everything that this guy has produced so far looks like it's going to be high production so i really can't wait for this so so far we're getting three fan-made chucky films we're getting one from nightmare crypt we're getting one from elicio and we're getting one from tony biz so that's going to be super exciting so i guess that's all we're going to be talking about today like comment subscribe share follow me on google plus twitter and instagram all at chucky fan 101 and uh, if you want to shout out, put your name down in the comments below and give this video a like if you actually are on board with the idea of me possibly doing a live Q&A. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Bye and have a chuckified day.